Hey there, creepy peeps. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome back. If you're returning, yo, what's up? Today I'm going to be reviewing the 1971 film from Mario Bava, A Bay of Blood. Also known as Twitch of the Death Nerve, A Bay of Blood, like I said, was directed by Mario Bava and begins with an elderly heiress who is murdered and staged to look like it was a suicide. What ensues is an all-out murder spree as relatives and friends attempt to reduce the inheritance playing field, complicated by some teenagers who decide to camp out in a dilapidated building on the estate. A necessary disclaimer. There's a whole backstory behind why I have to say this every time I talk about a Gylo movie. Maybe I'll talk about it some other time, but I got I gotta preface the video with this. <laughs> I don't like Gylo horror movies. I just, they're not my thing. I appreciate their role in horror history and their influence on the slasher genre of the 80s, but they're just not my thing. So just keep that in mind as you continue to hear my thoughts on this movie. <laughs> that being said, like most Gylo movies, A Bay of Blood has some pretty brutal kills, I gotta say. Especially right out the gate with uh, Countess Frederica, like right at the beginning of the movie. Really like sadistic, kind of like almost disturbing to watch kill, but I liked it. Um, the best kill by far was like the knife or like machete. I don't really know what that is. Like it, it looks like a machete, but it's like curved at the top. I don't know what you'd call that. Whatever, one of the characters, Robert, takes that to the face and it's awesome. <laughs> he goes to open the door and bam, knife to the face, dead. So matter of fact, so awesome. Those I like, I tend to feel like are like the most brutal kills, the ones that are just so matter of fact like that. Like it happens so fast and then it's over and then it cuts to a next scene, but it's like brutal. <laughs> like <laughs> I just keep saying brutal, <laughs> but that's what it is. <laughs> A Bay of Blood is a very appropriate title for this movie because it really is an all-out bloodbath between these people that like just want to inherit the bay. In that sense though, the movie is kind of fun to watch because it's like greed just takes over in these people and they just all start trying to kill each other. Although I do have to say the kills came on really strong at the beginning of the movie and they kind of lost their steam as the movie went on. I was a little bit disappointed like the kill right at the beginning was brutal. The machete to the face was awesome. And then the kills after that were not quite so exciting, especially by the end of the movie. Speaking of the end of the movie, we have to discuss this. Mario Baba, please explain. Somebody, anybody, please explain. What in the fresh Italian hell was that ending? <laughs> Spoiler alert, although I'm gonna argue that this has absolutely nothing to do with the rest of the movie. Renata and Albert, having killed every possible heir to the bay, get ready to go clean up all this bloody mess when their children pop up and like fucking shoot them down. Then they just go play after. <laughs> what? The kids are shown for like what feels like two seconds earlier in the movie and then Renata and Albert go F off to go kill everybody and just kind of like ignore their children. <laughs> and then they just pop up again at the end of the movie last minute just to kill them too. I don't get it. Was it because they were neglected, I guess, by their parents? You don't see them enough to like decide whether they're neglected or not. Did the kids not think the gun was real? I don't get what purpose that served other than to be shocking for the sake of being shocking, which was disappointing because the rest of the movie was okay. Like I was all right with the rest of the movie until that and it just, felt like it served no purpose. Like, yeah. So it sucks that like an otherwise okay movie, at least in my eyes, <laughs> again, I don't like Jyla horror movies, just putting that out there. It sucks that it ended on like such a sour note because I was left just confused as to what that was. So overall, it was okay, just not really for me. I'm not in a rush to see it again anytime soon, but it wasn't all bad, so I'm, in the middle of the road for this one. I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five. On IMDb, it has a 6.7 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes, it has an 82% critic score that's out of 11 reviews and a 63% audience score and that's about, and that's out of over 4,000 reviews. 
on Letterboxd. It has a 3.4 out of 5, lots of 2s, 2.5s, and 3s. And um, so I guess that just proves that Jilo is also not for everybody. <laughs> it's not just me, but you know, take that as you will. If you like Jilo horror movies, most likely you're gonna like this. If you have seen A Bay of Blood slash Twitch of the Death Nerve, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. As always, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here, become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you can ring that notification bell to be notified every time I post a video, perhaps. Who knows if it works or not. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay strange. Bye! This video is brought to you by all these lovely creepy patron peeps that you see listed on the left hand side of the screen. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link that is in the description of this video. Um, no pressure, but it's there if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye!